the fashion industry is uh, quickly embracing the metaverse, which we were just mentioning when we we're talking about Netflix and so on in the previous uh, uh, segment. Digital fashion, VC, virtual commerce, uh, a new channel uh, for revenue. Users in the metaverse uh, will be able to carry items like clothing, look at that, uh, accessories and home decor from one platform to another. Uh, for example, from the game world of Fortnite to Meta's universe. Now, having one's own fashionable avatar, according to analysts, is just a start. Amazon is wading into the world of brick and mortar clothing stores with a 30,000 square foot shop in an upscale mall in suburban Los Angeles. Uh, in a blog post on Thursday, uh, the Seattle based company called its physical fashion venture Amazon Style, which promises to leverage the e commerce giant's tech prowess and depth of data to give consumers a seamless and elevated shopping experience. This is exciting stuff. Shakira Adigun, always an analyst with Financial Derivatives Company Limited, joins us uh, to discuss uh, further. Um, Shakira, how is Amazon basically approaching its, uh, or why is it approaching its this, this foray into physical stores? Okay, so this Amazon style is like a shopping experience that's heavily dependent on technology. Of course. So I'm going to use myself as a customer Go as ahead. an example to yep. say, okay, I'm walking into Amazon Style, the store, and then I see a variety of clothing, it's just one style on each rack. Mm. And I'm like, I have my Amazon um, shopping shopping uh, app on okay. my phone, and I, use the, I scan for the QR code, and then the QR code helps me to see the various colors and sizes and the product ratings. I decide what I want, then I send it to the fitting room with my phone. Mm. Then when I go to the fitting room, after, se um, after selecting all the styles that I want, when I go to the fitting room, I, um, there's a touch screen there which allows me to um, decide on what if I want it or not. And okay. if, th this is the interesting part because I really like this part that I don't have to go out or leave to order or to get more clothing outside. You mm. know the stress of trying to remove your clothes yep. and wear them back, yep. go back outside to get your clothes again? Stressful you don't need to stuff. do that. Yes. I so, hate doing that. <laughs> <laughs> basically, all I need to do is to tap and um, press the what I want on the touch screen mm. and then it's they bring it to me. And then after that, once I'm ready to purchase, I tap just by tapping the screen it goes to the counter and then there's a palm recognition where um you make payments and then check out so yeah. excellent stuff excellent that's a good yeah and we're seeing i think we're seeing images of uh, of how that works there so but why you know it's an e-commerce company why go into physical physical stores for fashion okay for so i think that there's an opportunity there or let me just put it this way because of the pandemic people are thinking oh um, it's pushed people to do more of online shopping but Data has told us that it's not so because um, there are more in 2021. Mm. There are more over 500, over 5,000 um, stores, physical stores, were open compared to below a little below 5,000 stores that were closed. And this right. is the first time in five years in the U.S. that more stores have been opened compared to the ones that have closed down. Mm. Secondly, um, the there's the chart. You're right. That's correct. So 5,000. Uh, 5,005, I think, versus 4,947. Exactly. So, yeah, so great stuff. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, and then um, it says that more people are actually deciding to um, go into the stores physically to buy daily as time goes by. Like, it's not the same. It's not, they've basically gone back to the pre pandemic um, form. Very, very interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, interesting. So, I mean, the Amazon has tried this physical stuff uh, mm -hmm. before, uh, you know, as far as grocery shopping and so on. So, um, it's been with, I would say, or some would say, mixed uh, success. So at this point, um, for fashion, you know, why go into it? There's an opportunity there. Yeah. Let's just put it that way, because if, um, sorry, could you take the question again? Yeah. So I'm saying essentially that if uh, if you're deciding at this point, mm -hmm. we've seen the stores that have opened up, right? Um, as far as fashion though is concerned, mm -hmm. that decision to go in there, I think so. Uh, um, Walmart, I think okay. last year, um, what was the state data point again? I think they surpassed Walmart or, or so yeah, in terms yeah, of apparel exactly. sales. Yeah, yeah, okay. So basically, because um, um, last year, yeah. um, Amazon surpassed the um, surpassed Walmart by being the top retailer for apparel. apparel. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And then even with that, they're not so. Um, they feel like they haven't really dominated that space because you know they're online. 
this thing. So they feel like there's more to, than like 85, okay, let's look at this, in-store purchase, in -store purchases in the US, 85% yeah. of in-store purchases are from retail stores. So this is an opportunity for Amazon to say, okay, well, let's come and dominate this space. Let's right. come and be, let, let's come and take advantage of this situation right, and then right. take, yeah, basically that's. Anything else to go? Is there, I'm, I'm sure data is part of this as well, right? And consumer behavior. Are those also, if you look at beyond that, you know, beyond surpassing Walmart as mm -hmm. for the retail sales in 2021, beyond um, the space and the and the and the um, and the potentials that's there. What about consumer modeling consumer behavior? Tracking it and, and and all that data is that also an opportunity there for them? Well, that's why they are actually because like they're trying to test this whole thing is for them to test. Okay, um, like they want to actually broaden their customer their consumer base, yeah. then test the buying behavior, buying patterns of consumers, then also tap into the market share of other um, of the in store re in store um, retail the brick and mortar retail stores, and this might be a threat to department stores yeah, and all of that. Like I would be TV scared. <laughs> <laughs> if I knew so, that yeah. Amazon was coming into my space. Great <laughs> stuff. All right, we'll see how that works uh, mm -hmm. with them. I, Metaverse has excited me, mm -hmm. I have to say. So what do, you, um, for any, what do you make of this ability to, I guess, sell clothes in a digital virtual realm? Okay, so before I get into how fashion designers or the fashion brands would take advantage of this. Let yep. me just give you a brief on Metaverse. Yeah. So in layman terms, yeah. Metaverse is like a virtual universe. So it's more like where me and you can socialize, we can work. So we could be having play. this conversation. Yes, virtually. Right. But then we're not... It's not going to be like the way our profile pictures will now, won't, it won't be profile pictures anymore, it will be avatars. Right. So our avatar, for, let me use LinkedIn for example, it's not going to be um, our, real, it's going to be like a realistic three, 3D form of ourselves mm. in different work clothes or of, us, of our choice. Yeah. Or if we want to hang out, we'll have different work. That's where fashion, the fashion brands coming now. They want to sell the clothes. Who's going to think of these designs? Right. It's the fashion brands. Now, they are going to take advantage of the v-commerce, which is virtual commerce. By, okay. But there won't be the advantage of this now is that there will not be an issue of overproduction or looking for raw materials to buy yeah, or what's not because it's virtual. Yeah. Do you get so they? Um, it's an advantage to them from that aspect, and also the fact that there's nothing like your. It doesn't have a second hand. There's nothing like your um, your selling clothes that have already been worn. Right. So right. there's it's lucrative to resell. And then it gives like a, an incre it increases the profit margin for the fashion brands. And let's just leave the fashion brands. The designers themselves mm. are actually going to be, is actually going to benefit the designers because normally it's going to give them like a leeway to be creative, as creative as they want. Yeah, I was just seeing a very <laughs> weird looking bubble jacket. Well, I think we should put that back up again. Uh, uh, yeah, so this, this, so they can they can just get out there as far as they're creative. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. The, <laughs> I thought that jacket was So really there's weird. nothing yeah. like, um, oh, would they be able to wear it? Is there a place I can put a zipper or right. something like that? It's virtual. There's yeah. nothing. Nobody's really going to look at the wearability or the, practica the practicality of the design. Right. They're basically free to like design as they want and like not think too much about if they're going to wear it or not. So it's not just the companies that will benefit from this metaverse, but the designers themselves mm. have an advantage. Very interesting. We've yes. covered so much. Uh, the uh, sports apparel companies, Nike, mm -hmm. Adidas, they've sold things on their um, Steve, um, these NBA players. Uh, so on and so forth, and now the fashion folk. You think it'll catch on? I mean, with everything you're seeing on the metaverse, you think you think it'll catch on over time? What, what, what's uh, your most thoughts? Definitely, it will. Yeah. Yes, because like even let me just even say um, Snapchat. I yeah. mean, to an extent, you can see that it's not just it. It's not uh, a stiff profile picture. You can actually see it turn. But imagine if it's now really like realistic. Mm. Facebook has turned into Meta, right? Yes, exactly. So, <laughs> so that's, where, that's where we're heading yeah. to. It's exciting times. Mm -hmm. uh, Shakira, uh, analyst with Financial Derivatives Company Limited, thank you for joining us to talk about the metaverse right. and, what could, and the potentials.